Welcome back team and this is your Sunday restorative workout. This was a challenging week for sure and we did work hard together. So our body definitely ready for easy and gentle stretches today. I want to begin this session team on our back today. So let's go ahead and lay down and take our arms as always behind the head away from the feet good feeling stretch for entire body from the fingertips to the toes all the way close your eyes inhalations through the nose in the next inhalation slowly guys draw your right knee towards your belly and give this like a good hug and of course you don't have to have your eyes closed but it feels more natural easier to let go of the tension and then slowly when you're ready let's open up our eyes and extend the leg we're gonna give this leg a gentle massage first before to dive a little bit deeper for the stretches so just massage your calves maybe massage your hamstrings even and then once you do that go ahead and give a gentle rotation through the ankle just one direction a couple circles and then another direction excellent if that feels good feels right go ahead and reach your shoulders guys off the ground keep on breathing and make sure that it's not your forehead trying to reach the front of your leg but you driving the belly toward the quadricep all the way to excellent come on down with your shoulders we're still working on the same side take this leg on the side and it may or may not reach to the floor and it's not as important just make sure your shoulders on the ground take a deep breath in and again let all the tension from the body and from the mind flow away this is your sunday bring this leg back and slowly press right on top on your foot Sunday recovery day doesn't have to be completely lazy, right? Doing the quick and effective stretches, 30, 40 minutes, maybe any other Pilates or easy workout or walk outside or bike ride is always good. We will take this leg, the same leg guys, and take it all the way outside. Try to make sure that you level your body afterwards, after when you step this foot across and just rest take a deep breath in and on exhalation prepare to bring your both legs without changing the position lower back on the ground off the floor of your mat if you can easily reach your ankles that's great if not you may also try to crisscross your ankles instead of your knees I want you to give a gentle press on top. It might not feel really pleasant at the beginning, but we really need to open our knees and hips and lower back after this challenging week of the workouts. All right, friends, go ahead and bring your right leg on the floor. Close your eyes again one more time and gently Press on top on the shin or the ankle on the left. Again, keep your eyes closed or open, one or other, but it's easier definitely to settle, to relax without external information coming through the eyes. Just let go of the tension. Relaxation is a choice, right? And go ahead and take your leg up and we're gonna give this leg a gentle massage just a little bit massage your calf hamstring and then once you did this go ahead and circle your toes a few times one direction through the ankle and then reverse it all the way and then if you're ready guys you don't have to you can continue to hold your shoulders on the floor we reach off the ground and continue to press on this leg 
You might also decide to use a towel here or the strap to stretch a little bit deeper and reach to that foot. We take our time, quadricep, the front part of your leg towards the belly, instead forehead towards the knee. It will happen eventually, but you focus on stretch and lengthening first. Go ahead and bring your shoulders back on the floor. We drive the same leg on the side. On the side, guys, it may reach the floor, it may not. It will eventually, right, when we stretch and practice. Take your time, do not hurry up. And then we take this leg back, we're ready to press right on top on the foot and drive that knee on the left straight down towards the floor mm -hmm. and make sure you're not holding your breath on your static stretches that's important otherwise it's going to be really challenging much more effort to let go of the tension and to stretch deeper if you're holding your breath carry over your foot and level your shoulders your hips sit bones on the floor and just relax. All you have to do is to relax. We'll hold it for a few extra breaths here before we lift both feet off the floor. And we're ready to do so if there is no way for you to keep your knees crisscross, your left knee above the right if you're following me and reach to your ankles and consider to crisscross your ankles instead. Gently press on top. Give it an extra few exhalations here, I know. Breathe in, breathe out. Very nice. And go ahead and take your both legs and undo them for now. We're gonna go for another stretch Release your one leg. If you have to have the support on the left, then put your left leg guys on the floor. If you don't have to, then we hold in the leg straight above the floor. We add a little bit of work, just a little bit, not much, and continue to stretch guys. Breathe in, breathe out, and switch guys. Again, you can always modify and put this leg on the floor this is our gentle restorative workout today but you know i still want you to have a good sensation afterward afterwards of the practice so you did a good job for your sunday put your both feet 90 degrees above the floor knees directly above the hips arms on the side and just rock your knees side to side we begin just with knees set next to each other and then we're gonna go a little bit deeper very nice let's do one more on this side and one more 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 on another side and if you will find you can't connect and bind with your legs and do this movement just come back to what we just did. Put your right leg above the left. It's just like your eagle legs in the yoga practice. And we do a few rocking movements again. Right and left and left and right. And it doesn't have to be all the way till the ground. Just enjoy the stretches. Try to feel every single movement. Mm -hmm. And then we will undo it. And we do the other side. So left leg right now, guys, above the right. Maybe that's not a full bind yet. And we begin on the left this time. Just knees and feet over the floor. Nice and gentle. And one more on each direction. That feels so good on the back. Just watch what's happening in your shoulders. Try to keep them as much as possible on the floor and come back to the center. Undo those legs, guys. Straight up towards the ceiling. And if you can reach to your feet, that's awesome. If you can't, 
that's totally fine you can use your towel or strap or you can hold your legs lower we're not going to plow pose or legs behind the head imagine that you're sitting on the floor right now and the floor against your calves and your hamstrings and you fold in forward but you are on the back right now give a good hug to your legs if you can or use your strap breathe in guys breathe out try to hold your knees soft and extended and let's slowly put our left leg on the floor just follow me so you don't have to think and if you will forget which leg you did, I will remind you. So left leg is on the floor, right leg up, arms on the side. We go for that. Just a few repetitions of the hip circles. We can forget the hips a little bit more. And one more. I can see the cracking sounds in mine. And reach all the way up. We're going to put our arms next and find the bridge. If this bridge is too much for you on the recovery day, then forget about it and put your both feet on the floor. If you're following me, we will take this ankle right on top and just with the body strings, guys, draw this knee down towards the floor. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly vertebra by vertebra, release your shoulders, your back on the floor, lift your left leg, readjust your ankle right above the knee so it's comfortable, and we reach to the left leg together. If you have to bend it, of course, you can bend it and just take your arm underneath or hold the leg straight, use your towels, use your straps. Breathe in and breathe out, guys. Mm -hmm. Just another breath or two. And go ahead, slowly undo those legs. Bring your quadricep to your belly one more time. And then this time we will put our right foot on the floor left is above and we just go for the few hip circles on this side as well just draw the good circle just three four times oh, that feels good no cracking on this side and all the way reach this leg up we prepare for the bridge just like on the other side, if you find that this is a little bit too much for your recovery day, you don't have to do it. Just put your both feet on the ground for now. Hold that strong single leg bridge with me. And we're ready to put the ankle on top and draw the knee right down towards the floor using just the body strings. Continue to lift the bridge and draw the left knee down towards the floor, opening the pelvic floor itself. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly, hips on the floor, nice and gentle, guys. Go ahead and lift your right leg. Use the towels, drops, or your hands, and continue to open the lower body. Press right on top, make sure that this other leg in a good place right above your knee and not hurting you and we stretch in all the way guys mm -hmm. nice job coming back and slowly guys both legs you don't have to bring them all the way back if you can roll over with me and just to rest this full rollover or your plow pose is not for everyone. If you practice it next to the wall, you can also put your feet on the wall or just keep them up above the hips, above the ground. Just make sure you make it 
only till the point until you start to roll on your neck. You can also put your feet on the sofa or anything elevated, just make sure it's stable and you're safe. And let's slowly undo your legs, put your both feet together into the bound ankle. Try to relax if you feel that you can't relax in this position. Then put some pillows or anything supportive underneath your knees so your knees can essentially rest on some surfaces. Try to bring your lower back right now closer to the floor. Take your time, close your eyes and put your arms behind your head if available or any other place comfortable. Again, we're not trying to push the lower back into the floor, we're just trying to create a less arching for the back. If there is a little gap, it's okay. Take a deep breath in, inhalation through the nose and an exhalation, let all the tension melt away from your hips. Inhalation through the nose and exhalation, all the tension melting away from your hips. We give another inhalation. In an exhalation, guys, open your eyes. If your eyes were closed, go ahead and put your both feet, hips width apart. And slowly come on up to the seated position. We will continue with the rolling on our back. If this is not comfortable, you probably need a little bit more cushion. And just hold, guys, your ankles right here. You can hold your thighs, but ankles is a little bit more easier. Scoop the stomach in and just give it a few rolling movements. It was challenging one for me, the first one. Tap the toes or just almost tap them. And let's do a couple more. Nice and soft. And last one. Come on up back and put your feet, guys, hips always apart. We will do quick reverse tabletop just to stretch the wrist, the back, the hips, the ankles. Check your position on the wrist, underneath your shoulders approximately and give it a good hip lift all the way, guys. Good quality hip lift. And if you feel that you can add your calf raises do that it feels great on the hamstrings and toes in achilles and come on back down slow we're gonna go for seated windshield take your both hands behind and just simply rock your knees side to side one more time just like we did on our back right and left few times again make it feel good and then we're gonna move on our kneeling position today we will do a quick deer pose and a pigeon we hold it a little bit longer add some arms to that and come on up guys now if you need to take a little break or drink your water please do it otherwise we keep our left foot up front and left behind. Today we will bring our feet a little bit closer. This is definitely more easier. The farther you take it, the more challenging it is. Let's take our hands behind. And on exhalation, lift your hips, guys. Be genuine and generous with your stretches. Give your body the best. And slowly, release on the floor we will take our left hand inside the left or right inside the right and give a gentle spinal twist and then once we return back we will open just the front 
like a little bit farther and that can be guys your modification once we move to the pigeon or modified pigeon so we aim our shoulders to the front line of our mat and of course we do our best to fold forward with the hips flexor through the hip flexor fold forward and just be there guys doesn't have to be all the way on the floor prop your forehead with your hands or with the blocks send your strong exhalation into the hip flexor especially on the left mm -hmm. let's take our time and if you decide to stay here this is totally fine or if you come in with me with an extra pigeon here then we straighten the back knee and we slowly square our hips so it's straight towards the front and then we fold forward one more time you can come out of this form of this stretch anytime you have to you don't have to sit here take your time guys nice and gentle breathe in in an exhalation, let all the tension is always leave your body, not just the muscular tension, but the tension of the mind can be really obvious. Let's go ahead and come up all the way up here. And we add a little bit of the arm work. If you feel you need to support your pigeon and you can do the arm work, I want you to move this foot up front so you can see they actually work with your shoulders so right arm above the head behind the back and left underneath hold it raise it and i'm gonna move with my beginner just to make sure that you guys in the front in the right place so if you're still in your pigeon go ahead guys and move your foot up front and across and my beginners move your foot across too if you can use the straps use the towels behind to connect between the hands if you need an extra help close your eyes and just be let's slowly undo the arms and we will undo the legs we will do the, our deer pose from the other side so just simply put your right foot up front right now or opposite what you did in left behind we will begin with a little bit closer set up here feet closer to the base take your both hands behind and lift your chest and maybe even hips off the floor if that's available take your time guys hold it for a few breaths with me And then we go for a gentle half spinal twist so we will take the right hand and put it on the right left on the left and just push against your open feet guys just push a little bit more keep the back neutral strong tall so you can breathe and of course you push a little bit deeper on exhalation mm-hmm back to the center we keep the back foot seam as is and we just open a little bit more on the front and we will dive forward and remember instead the pigeon you can use this modification fold forward start to practice your forward fold from the hip flexor from the place where your lower back connected with your hips with your legs and choose to be here 
or join me for the pigeon. So all you have to do, you will extend your back knee and roll it slightly under. Try it out. You might not be able to do it on one side, but it's going better on another. So definitely practice it. Don't give up before you try, right? Put your forehead, um, your hands to your forehead if you have to, or just lay down here. And we come up to add some shoulders in arms work. If you feel you can't do it, then transfer, guys, your back leg to the front. This time your left arm will come behind the upper shoulder and your right arm underneath. We will hold it for just a few breaths and then all together move up front. And slowly, guys, draw this back leg all the way across. Undo the arms if you have to before I do that. Again, let's sit here for a few extra seconds just to give our shoulders and arms extra stretch. And then slowly, guys, undo those arms. Go ahead and transfer yourself when you're in kneeling position. We do a couple back bends and then gentle puppy pose. And then a single leg pull to close out this stretching session. So go ahead and rotate your shoulders. If you feel you can't reach your both hands towards your ankles, that's okay. Then just do one arm at the time. Push the hips slightly forward, chest up and open. And then let go. Put your hands on the ground, knees, hips width apart. Up and down, cut and go, just for the two, three repetitions. And then slowly set your knees a little bit wider and send your chest, guys, on the floor, all the way on the ground, just like this. And if you need an extra cushion or support pillow, you can definitely do that. Do your best to hold your tailbone in between the knees. And let's slowly come up to our belly. And we're going to do just a one legged bind. So get your left arm and draw your arm to your right ankle and just look behind. Just simply look behind. Make sure that that shoulder is not blocked. And if you feel that you can lift your knee off the ground, go ahead for that, but you definitely don't have to. Mm -hmm. It's a good stretch for arms, shoulders, and the back. We're gonna take the right arm over the left ankle or the opposite of what you did. Hold it for a few seconds and just look behind. And then if you feel you can proceed a little bit deeper today, go ahead, guys. Oh, that feels so good, so good. And let's take it back down. Your simple, gentle cobra or abduct. The difference is when your hands slightly more off the base of the body, farther away from the chest, that's your cobra. And for some people, it's more doable, feels better than the up dog, more advanced. 
a little bit more challenging stretch here in the indication that you're feeling good on your form is when your shoulders easily come down away from the ears if that's not the case you feel that you're sinking down here just put your hands a little bit farther to your cobra and let's slowly make a transfer hips towards the toes give me one more transition all the way to the front very gentle very slow try to observe what's happening in your back and another slow transfer to your hips go ahead and send your one arm underneath put your ear on the floor and send your another arm underneath shoulders feel so good in this position and let's gently return back to where we started on the sitting position go ahead guys and reach all the way up I feel like I just woke up after a good nap and all the way to the other side and let's go ahead take our hands and bind them behind open up the chest and fold forward if you can keep your hands together if not undo them simply and coming back up guys final inhalation my superstars and exhalation and as always team outstanding work that was a challenging week and we closed down another strong week of the superstars challenge together so rest well guys recover well give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet Leave me comments down below about your progress. This is my favorite, favorite time when I can, when I read that some of you feeling stronger, faster, more agility, more endurance. This makes my heart sink. Rest well, guys, again, eat well, recover well, and I will see you tomorrow for the new challenge.